Before Lionsgate released the trailer for the upcoming remake of The Crow, this movie was already getting roasted on social media because Vanity Fair previously released some photos of Bill Skarsgård as Eric Draven for the movie, and people didn't like the design approach that they were doing for the character, but once the trailer was released, things got even worse too because you can see the like to dislike ratio on this trailer, 96,000 dislikes to 66,000 likes, and this is the official Lionsgate movie trailer for this. Uh, not the worst ratio for a movie trailer, but still not really good, all things considered. And personally, when I saw the trailer, I thought it could have been much worse. Uh, there was some stuff I liked about it, but in all honesty, this looks like a movie that didn't need to be remade. And that sentiment is obviously shared by other people, too, especially in recent news. We hear the director of the original Crow movie, Alex Proyas, has come out and said that this is a movie that he thinks is disrespectful to the legacy of Brandon Lee. And he's been trying to keep this movie from being remade for years now they've done sequels and things like that but he didn't want them to actually remake the original movie and that's what they're doing right now because recently he took to his personal facebook page to talk about this and this is what he had to say i really don't get any joy from seeing negativity about any fellow filmmakers work and i'm certain the cast and crew really had all good intentions as we all do on any film I think he's being a bit generous when he says that filmmakers have the best of intentions in mind because we've seen that time and time again where they're remaking something for modern audiences where the creatives behind it hate the source material, they hate the original fan base, they just know it's a popular IP so they want to use it as a springboard to push their own political messaging in this. But if they were trying to do that with this movie, I would say they're missing a lot of opportunities. Like instead of having Eric Draven have a girlfriend, they could have had him uh, have I don't know a trans black man or something like that. And they're killed by a group of homophobic white guys wearing red hats, carrying tiki torches or some other garbage like that in order to try to push their agenda or something. But it doesn't look like that's what they're doing in this movie. So I will give them credit for that. Maybe they do have the best of intentions in mind. It just seems like this is an ill-conceived remake. So it pains me to say any more on the topic, but I think the fans response speaks volumes. Along with that post on Facebook, he also shared this article from Comic Book Resources where it talks about the backlash for the trailer when it was released on YouTube. And it says in this article, the Lionsgate movie trailer for The Crow had 56,000 likes to 78,000 dislikes as of the time of uh, this article was written. And like I showed you at the start of this video, it's 66,000 likes now to 96,000 dislikes. So things have actually gotten even worse for it in the days since this article was written. Social media chatter has already suggested that many filmgoers were not impressed with the reboot's trailer, but these numbers are further confirmation of just how polarizing the new movie appears to be. The article goes on to highlight some of the comments that people left for the trailer, like this one right here. Why does the crow look like Machine Gun Kelly dressed up like Florida Joker? <laughs> not necessarily the most original, but something that a lot of us were thinking, but I do particularly like this next comment that they highlight, and I'll explain why in a moment. The only thing this trailer accomplishes was make me want to watch the original. And that's something I think is often overlooked when it comes to remakes because I don't inherently hate remakes. I think there are some good ones out there. In fact, I, I would actually even say there's a lot of good ones out there, but I also think there's a lot of terrible ones out there, especially in recent years. It feels like there's a lot more bad than good. And I do think there are some benefits even for bad remakes and that it does shine a light on the original movie. And it does get people more interested in the original movie because you got to keep in mind the original Crow movie came out 30 years ago. The target audience for that is people in their late teens, 20s, actually probably just teens in general and 20s. And a lot of kids in that age range have never even heard about the Crow movie. Maybe they've heard of it or maybe they just recognize the character because Brandon Lee was so iconic as the character, but they don't know anything about this movie. So this remake coming out maybe will kind of breathe some new life into it in order to get people to be more interested in the original movie or more interested in checking out the original movie if they haven't already. And to that, I do think there are benefits to having a remake, even if it's a bad one. Now, if the remake is just so terrible that it turns people off from the movie altogether, well, then obviously that's a bad thing. But this movie, I don't necessarily know if that's going to be the case with it. It's entirely possible, but maybe it's just going to be a boring movie and it does get people more interested in seeing like, well, this movie was terrible. Why are, why is there such a fuss around it? So maybe I should check out the original and see why that one's so much better than this one sort of thing. And even if they do like this movie, maybe you're like, oh, this movie was cool. Let me see how the original one was and how that holds up compared to this one. So 
I do think there are benefits to remakes, and it's because of that uh, the director of this movie does believe that he's trying to honor Brandon Lee by actually remaking the movie, which is a stark contrast to the director of the original movie who says that you honor Brandon Lee by not remaking the movie and just leave it as is. I'm of two minds of this because I can understand both perspectives, but I tend to side more with Alex Proyas, the director of the original movie, because I think if you really want to honor something, you don't necessarily try to redo it. But the director of this new one, he says he doesn't want to try to do a direct carbon copy of it. And that's partially what motivates him to change the character design of him and other things like that. Cause he wants to honor Brandon Lee by not specifically trying to do exactly what he did. He wants to do something else, but at the same time, he wants to kind of shine a light on the original movie, so to speak. So if that's his goal, then I think that's admirable. If that's indeed the case, I just personally disagree with him on that. I think you should do what Alex Proyas was saying in that just, leave it alone. If you want to honor the original movie, then maybe you can make a sequel. Don't make a direct remake, or you can do a similar movie or whatever. That's kind of uh, harkens back to it without actually being the crow itself. I think that's a better approach to doing this, but maybe the studio wanted it to be a crow movie before name recognition, or maybe he didn't think he could do a similar enough story without just being a crow derivative. So he has to make it a crow remake or something like that. I don't know the inner work is behind the scenes. I just think that this is a movie that doesn't need to be made, but let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. If you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment news, and if you can like, and share the video because it really helps out with the channel. Thank you.